Speaking of international, it's time for the evening's next honoree, Karine Reutfeld. <laughs> Don't get up yet. <laughs> Karine is one of the most inspiring, I have to talk about you first, Karine. Karine is one of the most inspiring, influential, and extraordinary women that I know. And she's also one of my dearest friends. I adore Karine for many reasons. Her great eye and sense of style has been an endless source of inspiration for me and for many others for more than 25 years that we've worked together. Her love of challenging convention in fashion photography is always tempered by her flawless taste and restraint. She knows the value of pushing an idea to its extreme, but her work is never self-indulgent. She's always professional and polite, but never prudish and her innate sense of how women want to dress while navigating the complexities of their lives never fails to amaze and astound me. As a stylist and editor, she is fearless when in pursuit of beauty, refinement, and the unfamiliar. As a friend, she's fun, never judgmental, and infinitely loyal. As a mother, she's a deeply devoted and loving human being. Her work ethic, drive, and kindness are evident in her children, Vladimir and Julia, who have also inherited a flair for their mother's sense of elegance and style. And she has to be the sexiest grandmother that ever lived. For three decades, she's dedicated herself to securing the legacy for so many people who lead this industry today. And her 10 years at the helm of French Vogue are legendary. In a world where many have predicted the end of print magazines as we know them, Karine defied convention and successfully launched CR Fashion Book. With her son, Vladimir, she then created CR Studio, a talent agency dedicated to supporting a new generation of artists, stylists, photographers, and art directors. After helping so many others realize their vision, she has now launched her own collection of fragrances. And having been lucky enough to get quite close to Karine's neck on many occasions, I can tell you that she smells awfully good. Karine, I can think of no one who deserves the Founders Award in honor of Eleanor Lambert more than you. Ladies and gentlemen, Karine Reutfeld. Tom knows how to make me blush <laughs> for 25 years. <laughs> so, hello everyone. It's such a privilege to be here with you this evening. This award means a lot to me, not only what it stands for, but also because it is in honor of Eleanor Lambert, who founded the Council of Fashion Designers of America in 1962. I myself was very lucky to meet Mrs. Lumber many years ago here in New York. She welcomed me to one of her best dress lunches at Indochine. More than an event, there was a real institution. Mrs. Lumber was a true champion of fashion and fought to put designers on the front row of the fashion world. 
to objectives that I have been very close to my heart throughout my entire career. Speaking of incredible women, I would like to take this time to sincerely thank Jan von Fürstenberg, not just for this award, but for years of support and friendship to me and women all over the world. Jan, I don't know if you remember when I first came to New York, you gave me a half dollar of silver coin as a good luck charm. Your kind gesture has never left me and never has the coin. To all the artists, designers, models that I've worked, the pleasure to work with along these years, thank for making me this journey so incredible. What a dream it has been, working together as a team. And my dear Carl, I saw a lot of your picture you did of me during this projection. Your presence, humor, and unique talent are missed, and will forever cherish our friendship. And to you, Tom Ford. <laughs> Congratulations, and I cannot wait to see what you do for this amazing institution. To the board and committee, thank you. The work you do here is absolutely crucial, and of course, congratulations to all the winners tonight. Thank you. <laughs>